You're evaluating a patient who complains of shortness of breath. You find him in no real acute distress. He's got mild tachypnea, but his SpO2 on room air is 87% with no prior lung pathologies known. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't have COPD. Nothing is going on except for a slight tachycardia, tachypnea, and hypoxia with a complaint of shortness of breath. One of the key differentials that you have to have for this patient is a pulmonary embolism. A pulmonary embolism is a clot within the pulmonary arteries. Very important to know that it's the pulmonary arteries where the clot is going to be found. Remember that these most often result from embolus from a DVT or deep vein thrombosis from the leg. It travels up through the inferior vena cava where it then enters the right heart and then gets lodged in one of the pulmonary arteries. This increases strain on the right heart, so you may see right heart strain patterns on EKG, including things like inverted T waves and the anterior leads. You might start to see uh, a QR pattern in V1, and the most common finding simply being sinus tachycardia. Be on the lookout for episodes of hypotension and worsening conditions. These patients can be quite sick and need immediate treatment. Let us know what other questions you have. As always, we're happy to help. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're gonna send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.